Mr. Zagraphis, it is our great pleasure to host you again after a few years and to present the progress of your research and of course your great invention this time fully open for the whole world to see how it works and above all what results it produces. Not only open but what we all we tried. With the components that make up this new device and this construction is now transparent. It is now glass. So the tubes are special silicone tubes so that they can also be transparent and all can be seen. So also the fluids that circulate around the structure. And. Of course. The fact that. This also has a disadvantage. Because it can't withstand very high pressure from this particular device because the walls are made of glass components. They are vulnerable to pressure and can break. The same goes for these containers and this one as we can see now through it and see the content of it much more like this. Mr. Skuludi. We decided to make the device transparent like this with glass components so that the world can see that there is nothing inside no batteries that some people said from time to time and the rest here now things are very clear everything is open the construction consists of glass components and tubes again transparent and we will show that today the operation of the device is by by putting on the loads, that are 20 lead lamps or these. How many volts are the bulbs for? And what we have are 10 watts each. These are the total loads that get applied. These are not the opaque ones we wanted. 20 times 10 watts bulbs is 200 watts and we currently have about 150 watts brightness and 200 watts maximum. And so everyone will be able to see, that there is nothing hidden inside the device. You understand that from time to time some people said, let's see how it works inside, you gentlemen and we are just going to see it inside here, we have the advantage that we will show the components one by one. In this device and that I touch them with my hand, which I do not hide from you and you see, that it is very complex. It may seem like our device is pretty simple, but yet how the water. Will circulate and exactly where and when and how long so timing is important. When we raise the pressure to bigger levels. So say about 20 bars. Or raise it to 25 bars, then all these parts inside should be from special. Tubes parts which can withstand these pressures, then it is easier to do with the right materials, we are working on the big device for the demonstration where we will do. The great powerful device where we will show 50 kilowatts output, that we are now telling to the world here now. This is a huge power output and needs special components to withstand the very high pressures. The advantage of this construction that we will show today is that the world and the experts who may react will understand that by limiting the pressure with our hand, that is, we will make it a little difficult for the air that enters the components there to get in there. The world will see this and the most important thing is that the energy electricity that will power the lamps will not be. Just two states, i.e. in a battery, that you switch on and off, which means they light up or don't light up. But in this case it will now be clear that, when we limit the pressure the lamps will start to shut off suddenly as they would be with batteries and other sources.
their brightness will rather decrease as an indication. Basically, that means, from where the lamps will light up. And be strongly lit at the beginning, so when we take a small tube and press the air, the lamp will have a linear attenuation, that means, it will go out linearly. This can be understood by many that we are not dealing with two situations, i.e. in one battery. When we connect it, it lights up, means, we have it or we don't have it as you said, we have it or we don't have it so what we don't have we have nothing to do with the situation it means that depending on the pressure the device receives. It also produces the corresponding current to the output. Okay yes, first we have to put water in. Water is what my whole body will need. They say that you can bottle anything, a bottle and we'll get water from here. Have to put on my glasses first, because we wanna see and we will say here to our viewers that we have done such demonstrations on this device with water from any source, e.g. drinking water, seawater, does not matter at all. This. Here we filled with water and this here. In the can and this one here too. And then we will try to start and put it forward which is not an easy task, because all this is happening now. So very quickly and in the rest of the machine. It has two points. Which are the inlet and outlet what's important for people to understand as along with the water, we have also here an alloy of materials here in this pipe. The materials we will talk now are the final ones, say that now they are placed with unstable here in this school we will show now it is the alloy of materials. Along with the little water. So here is the machine. This cable we see is the input of it, is of the machine. On the other side it has the egg which is the exit here is the exit I don't know if the camera sees it shows it lets lift the machine up. So that no one can say that there are some hidden cables connected underneath, so we show it. Fine 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 okay so nothing connected. Now we put it down again, to start it on an island like a car, which we all have, it has to have a battery in it, so when we get into the car, we start it on. And then the battery when the engine starts is charging again, we will take a battery to give it a trigger to the input of the engine. It is here. It is only a small battery which has 12 volts these small batteries again the same thing happened with the connector at the point. And we get another terminal. The green one is the terminal, the white one is the other one like my nose. And here we connect the minus. So we include the ship here in the minus. So now look here we gave it a voltage of 12 volts here we take the voltage out we short circuit these two to show that there is nothing hidden in there that has any internal voltage. Do you see it? I consult the note with the previous one and there is nothing. There is no tendency to short circuit, meaning that the battery has been charged somewhere. I connect it again. So there is nothing we put the connector in here. And put in here and the process begins. 
I now. The day may end when the pipe that flows in here and the pipes run from here. It seems like if I turn the switch off it's running here wet wet in here. I open it again. So it must be continued. To remove the battery from above. So that the machine. Start working on its own. At the input because it always needs voltage to supply the input or the output of the machine which is this I remove the battery quickly because if I delay too much it won't start again. I put the battery in. Nothing took it. And you see that without the battery I will put it away now. The machine starts and works by itself and without a battery the battery was alone. Only for the start and before we see the result, let's all raise it. Let's see if it is not connected somewhere and that it is a self-running device, now it works autonomously. Now it works great, without the battery. As we said we triggered it up some seconds ago and I don't want it to work alone, so now we will plug in into this socket the lamps, the lamps. So I hold it up via the handles. So here you see this LED bulbs panel and how it is connected together and exactly. Twenty steering wheel bulbs on this panel that the enthusiasts have in with this cable Michael and you. So show a shot from the camera from here let's show it right here, I take them out. We lifted the lamps by putting a vase. They lit up. The lamps are now the most important of all. This is a scope a special instrument and oscilloscope which we will measure it within a little while. My friend. The most important thing I said at the beginning. What we don't have to do with two situations is to lower the air pressure in the device, i.e. this tube. This tube and just the lights. I close it, air stops going to the machine. I take it out, it doesn't catch, it doesn't go. Look now at the lamps that will slowly tend to go out. Be careful. Yes they give us the lower pressure you will see now now. The pressure drops, I have to quickly put it back on. So as soon as the air went higher and the lamps raised pressure we wrote again. So I put back the pressure tube that gives pressure, covers it and takes it out. The lamps slowly 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 slowly. We turn off I now we show a modulation with this wave here on the scope instrument from the many pulses that go. What do these graphs show us? It shows a frequency that co-shapes the whole system, it's not something that interests too many people, but we just show it here. What frequency is this when we take it out? It now stops your pulse to appear formally we have shown this so it continues and lights up until again when they blow the air with a little we will stop them until when so, Mr. Zagraphis it will be lit until we will finish it. The water and the alloy of materials. I.e. if we can determine the period of time here as this we turn it on to have electricity in our house as we do because we don't have the lights at home permanently on when we need them we turn them on when I say we are sleeping at night we will turn them off but this may work as it is now for some 24 hours straight, 24 hours so then to renew it we add the alloy material and the small amount of water and the water.
price amount of water and I don't know this rate will you show us the secret of your invention which of course is not the simple water that we find everywhere but this alloy material thanks to which the energy is produced yes. This alloy consists of four materials. One is this. The other is this. The third. And the fourth, we will not say anything about them, but we can say that these are materials which are available in nature naturally and inexhaustible quantities exactly. Are these materials free in nature and have a high energy density? Nevertheless, the final phase is the alloy we have said many times these are properly mixed. And I am in a special way this is important for our country in a special way they turn into this here situation the form. I don't know if his camera can see it, but this is nano material it has been made. So this nano material resulting from the synthesis for the union of the four materials that exist as we said available in nature. It's what was willing to produce the current in it so it's on the nanometer scale that are these beads and now as we speak these are so light. They are done mixed here ready. To fly the finished product high in the air. Which has a tremendous energy density. This thing. So these materials with high energy density where we have them in their final processing which processing is done only by us here in Greece here we are talking about nanotechnology now we will put one of these four materials details here in the microscope and we will begin to see how it is. What form they have. We see here that the large diameter of the pellets looks like they are stones whole stones like hail balls themselves seem. We've got now super high magnification now. Light kitchen fluor with nothing from the result of this mixture of materials is needed to produce energy let's stick to our example of the 20 lamps at the 20th February where I said in some lectures at the University of Limassol in Cyprus. There to the engineers in Nicosia. But also in the jungle we have made a special post on the part of the universities. Per gram of the alloy. We can get from 2 to 4 liters of hydrogen. These are the analogy. Another important thing is that we have to say. That and the frequency of the radiation plays a great role these three years that we delayed speaking to the world and get in touch it was because there were intensive investigations in some subsystems of the arrangement to make them simpler for example the radiation system they simplified it a lot We have simplified it, now it is cheaper, used to have the product exactly as we radiate the water together with the alloy in the ship. This from the layout. The radiation simplified and in the process with great efforts and struggles. Where did we do these three years, Mr. Skouloudis? I cannot describe to you how many working hours I and my colleagues worked. 
of the group we are, we spent on it. We have reached very good results. That's why in a little while, when the sun permits of course and so on we'll do the big show of the high-powered machine which will of course be an upgraded version of what looks like it's built in such a way that people can see there's nothing inside. When it's out of spite, besides, I publicly commit to the world that there is not and never has been a battery or nuclear in it, I commit to this world. Here people now got a much better view of the workings of this great device, respect, the best is yet to come so so I believe.